Schools have adopted a policy of inclusion for special needs students, and these kids attend classes alongside their peers. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson shows us how one school is making sure special needs students are not only included, but also accepted on their campus. Vista Middle School has a new program that pairs special needs students with general ed kids. In less than a year's time, students in the program have developed deep bonds. If you ask them, they will tell you they are now best buddies. Look around this playground, and if you see 12-year-old Tyler Delashaw, you can bet James Walker is close by. The two our best buddies. He's a funny guy. He's sometimes if you don't like tell him, he'll just like shout out anything. But Tyler's cool. He's he's cool. They may seem like an unlikely pair, the popular athlete and the kid with special needs. But these two share a special bond. When I first came to class, he was the one that I noticed really. Because he just like, I don't know, he, he's kind of like me, like funny, goofy, but when it's time to work, he'll work. And when it's time to get serious, he'll be serious. James and Tyler are among the 20 students at Rio Vista Middle School in the Central Unified School District enrolled in a peer social development class. They call it Best Buddies and it pairs students with special needs kids on campus. Principal Joe Bracamonte helped develop the program. I have a son and a daughter who went to the high school and they uh, got to be a part of a program similar to this and so um, just thought it was important and something that was really impactful to them. It's an elective class. The students have to sign up for it. Julianne Dolores' best buddy is 12-year-old Karim G. Julian's desire to participate is personal. My brother, he's a little bit sort of like special needs, so it's, I need to understand more. He says working with Karen has helped him better understand his brother. It, it takes time for them to understand more. You need to be more like, um, how do you say, like, Patient. Patient. And like others in this class, the two have developed a deep bond. It means a lot. It's really like if he would be to leave, I, that'd be really... He's like I your would, best buddy too. Yeah. Their teacher says this class allows special needs students the opportunity to do things they wouldn't get to do in a regular class. They get to experience success. Well, classwork can be overwhelming, especially if you get a, get a big packet in front of you and you feel like, can I really do it? But if you know that you have your buddy saying, it's okay, we're gonna do it together, it kind of eases that stress. Brandon, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? And then from there, they start working together and they realize that they can do anything. The program is having an impact on the entire student body. You can see it on the playground. Kids who used to shy away from the students who acted just a little bit different don't do that anymore. And like before, when like like Ravi and other kids in the class came around, most kids would try to like go away and like walk away. But now when they come around, they stay and they conversate with them. They like they they're like friends with them now too. What these kids learn is that they are more alike than different. You can often hear them talking about their favorite video games or songs. But I usually listen sometimes I listen to Drake. You like Drake? Yeah. You know that one fake love. Their teacher says. It's these moments of genuine sharing, genuine friendship, that makes her proud to be a part of this program. They touch my heart every day. They, they make me proud, they work hard, and they love each other, and I love them for that. The school's leader is putting into practice something he says he was taught, that what you learn first, you learn best. And learning acceptance at an early age will reap huge benefits. As a principal, probably the number one word that I hear uh, is the word bullying. I, I really don't like that word. Um, and I, I think when we start things at this age and we show kids that different doesn't mean bad, different just means different. Um, 
we can make sure that kids understand that for a long, long time. The Best Buddies program is so successful that the principal at Rio Vista says they have more students wanting to sign up for the elective than they have space for. For Education Matters, I'm Renita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters. I, I think it's great that it's an elective and the kids want to be, participate. They have to open up a second class for they that. They might now. have to.